a lot has happened. Um, I graduated from my MA program and we had our graduating show in London at the Candid Arts Trust and it was amazing. I could not have predicted how well it was going to go. I got um, just a lot of eyes on my work from people who I would never have been able to reach without this program. Um, I'm thinking of doing I'm thinking of doing a video in the future about like a more in-depth video about the MA I did and just MAs in general and what I think of them. Um, so let me know if that'd be interesting to see. But yeah, so the grad show went amazing, but it is not the last step of my program. We're actually going to the Bologna Book Fair in April. It's in April this year for some reason. And we're gonna have a booth there and we're displaying all our work, or all our dummy books from the grad show at Bologna. And agents and publishers and, you know, gatekeepers in the industry will come by and pick off our books from the shelves, look at our portfolios. They'll be like, we wanna work with that student, that student, that student, that student. And they'll walk away with our postcards and our business cards and hopefully, um, interest in working with us. I couldn't imagine it going any better than the London show, but yeah, I'm really excited for it.
So early February, we went in for portfolio surgeries, and this was where our tutors basically just looked at all our stuff, looked at how our portfolio was looking with a very commercial eye. So they were looking for potential for client work, not necessarily like artsy experimentation and, you know, all that good stuff that we do a lot of in the MA. So, uh, yeah. Eyes of a client, eyes of publishers and agents. That's what that's what they were kind of channeling. And they gave us some advice of how to round out our portfolios. And that is what I've been doing these past few weeks is trying to just round out my portfolio, follow the advice I was given and get, get it looking as good as I can for the industry professionals that will be looking at it at Bologna. So... So my tutor gave me some great advice, but also I had a meeting with my agent and that was really valuable too. She told me that her biggest piece of advice for me was to girlify my portfolio a little bit. I really love drawing all the things that I was obsessed with when I was a little girl, so I'm just trying to channel that childhood love of horses and ballerinas right now as I do some pieces for my portfolio. So I decided to start over on this piece. Um, I really just winged it with the color palette, which was not a good idea. Sometimes it is for me, but most of the time it's not. book there we go a fun kind of warm February-ish color palette so I think it looks okay so yeah I'll be adding this to my Bologna portfolio along with so many other things that I forgot to record but that's okay I hope you guys enjoyed this little peek into me preparing all my art for Bologna. Um, there's a lot of things I didn't show in this video. You can take a peek at those things at my website, audreygraceart.com. Um, I also share things on my Instagram, Audrey Grace Art, and my YouTube is Audrey Grace Art, so very easy to find. Mm -hmm.